Welcome to my KCSC Division of Channel, Jamarita, in Voice Boys High School. Kindly subscribe, delete the notification bell such that you get notified once I upload a new video. Today we are looking at a paper 2 question, most interested question, that is solid and this compound. And today we are looking at the preparation of a hydrogen salivate. So I have a diagram here which is used for the preparation of hydrogen salivate, where we have substance W, then we have substance C, or you talk of solidity, we can have water, then we talk of substance X, and of course we have the methods of the gas collection. So in the first flask, you are supposed to understand, here is where we have the reagent, which is used for the preparation of the gas, and of course you study the purpose of water in this experiment, in the way we have this YouTube, is that the YouTube normally contains the drying agents, and in this case we have uh, three main uh, commonly drying agents. That is uh, concentrated sulfuric acid, the calcium oxide, and of course we have an aqueous uh, calcium chloride. So we are going to see the most the suitable drying agent that can be used to dry the hydrogen uh, salivate gas, and then here. You can see the methods of the gas collection. So we have various methods of the gas collection. We have gases collected by the upward, the, 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 uh, upward, upward delivery method, which is the downward displacement of air. You can also talk of the downward delivery method, which is the uh, upward displacement of air. And then you can also, we have gases which can be collected over water, over cold water, over warm water. So here we have normally the methods of the gas collection and the property that makes the gas to be collected by, by the given method. So we are supposed to name substance uh, W, uh, solid X, and the solid C. If we start with the substance W and C, Substance W and C are normally the reagents used for the preparation of this hydrogen salivate gas. And what are the commonly reagents used? We talk of the dilute hydrochloric acid or the dilute sulfuric acid. Such a one you can have this substance W as either the dilute hydrochloric acid or the dilute uh, sulfuric acid in this case. When you talk of substance uh, V or solid V, this one must be a uh, a soluble uh, a salivate which forms a soluble salt with the acid. So it must be, we must have the commonly used uh, the commonly used salivate here is iron two salivate because it normally forms a soluble salt with the acid. Then we have now that um, this substance X is a reagent used for the, the is a reagent used to dry the gas. So W is a dilute hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid. X is a hydrous calcium chloride. The best or the most suitable drying agent for hydrogen salivate gas. And then this V is sub, this substance V or solid V is normally hydrogen salivate. It is the commonly used salivate, iron 2 salivate. It is the commonly used salivate because it normally forms a soluble salt with the acid. Then now we have, of this substance X may be, will be asked to give a reason why the concentrated sulfuric acid or calcium oxide can, cannot be used to dry the gas. The concentrated sulfuric acid cannot be used to dry the gas. As you know that, the hydrogen salivate gas is a strong reducing agent. Therefore, what will happen here, if, if you react, if you dry using the concentrated sulfuric acid, it will normally oxidize it to a uh, saliva. If you will be asked also to give a reason why the calcium oxide, which is also another common reagent for drying the gases, that it cannot be used to dry this gas. Calcium oxide it is a case, and a hydrogen saliva it is an acidic, so it can normally react because you know a reaction that, uh, because you know an acid and a base can just react, and that is the reason is why. Either the concentrated sulfuric acid or the calcium oxide cannot be used to dry the gas. Write a question for the preparation of hydrogen salivate. We normally talk of the iron 2 salivate reacting with the, 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 the hydrochloric acid. 
what is a uric acid, then we have a soluble salt of iodine chloride, and then you collect the hydrogen sulfide gas. What property enables it to be collected by a method shown on the diagram? So this gas, the method shown on the diagram, the method is just the downward delivery or the upward displacement of air. And what is the property that makes this gas to be collected by this method? It is because it is denser than air. What you need to understand, if you have the oxygen, uh, an oxygen molecule, we have two molecules of oxygen, so we can have this is two, and then we have times 16, we can have this one as 32. This is air in this case. When you talk of the hydrogen sulfide, we have two molecules of hydrogen, then we have one molecule of, uh, one molecule of sulfur, which is giving us in this case 32, and if you add that one, you will get 34. So what you need to understand, that uh, the hydrogen sulfur is more denser, this one it is denser than the air, it is denser than oxygen. So because the density of hydrogen sulfur is higher than the density of oxygen, that is why the gas is collected by the, this method shown here, which is the downward uh, delivery method or the upward displacement of air. If the gas can be collected over water, then it must be collected over warm water because the hydrogen sulfide is fairly soluble in cold water. So it must be collected over warm water. If the gas is not required dry, it can be collected. If it is not required dry, it can be collected over, over warm water because it is fairly soluble in cold water. What is the purpose of water in the, in the second flask? So normally the purpose of water in this second flask is just to remove the traces of hydrochloric acid or to remove the traces of HCl. What precaution should be taken when preparing the gas? So normally you understand that the hydrogen sulfide is a very poisonous gas. So the precaution here, the gas, the gas must be prepared in a filling chamber or must be prepared in open because the gas is poisonous. Hydrogen sulfide gas is normally poisonous. State two physical properties, state two physical properties of, uh, of hydrogen sulfide gas. We just say that the, the gas is denser than air, and so it is collected by the downward delivery or the upward displacement of air. It is colorless. It has also what we call the characteristics uh, uh, X smell, rotten smell. So it, we have that characteristic of a rotten smell. Describe a test for the hydrogen sulfide. The hydrogen sulfide gas normally tested using either the lead 2 acetate or you can use the lead 2 nitrate. What happens here when the gas is purple through lead 2 nitrate or lead 2 acetate, there is a formation of a black precipitate. And the black precipitate is normally confirms that the gas produced is normally hydrogen sulfide. State the observation that will be made, state the observation that will be made when a hydrogen sulfide is purple through the acidified potassium dichromate. So we have this is acidified potassium dichromate. What is the observation made when the gas, hydrogen sulfide gas, is normally purple through the acidified potassium dichromate, which is orange in this case. The acidified potassium dichromate it normally changes from orange to green. That is normally the observation that you can get from here. And this question is normally testing the reducing property of hydrogen sulfide. The hydrogen sulfide is normally a strong reducing agent. And what happens here, there are several examples of this reducing agent, apart from using the acidified potassium dichromate. You can also use the acidified potassium permanganate 7, which is purple, whereby the, the purple acidified potassium permanganate 7 can be reduced to manganese 2, which in this case colorless. If we use the, the bromine water, the red brown bromine water will normally reduce to the will normally reduce the, by the hydrogen sulfide gas to hydrogen chromide. Hydrogen chromide in this case it is colorless. You can also have the, the another example of uh, as a reducing properties of this hydrogen sulfide. It can reduce the hydrogen peroxide to a colorless liquid. 
So if you have a hydrogen peroxide, we did this class, hydrogen peroxide is normally reduced to uh, it can be reduced to water. You can also talk of the, the nitric acid in this case. And uh, the nitric acid can also be reduced to uh, can also be reduced to uh, brown gas. And in all the cases where the hydrogen sulfide gas is acting as a acting as a reducing agent, there is always a formation of a yellow precipitate of saliva. Now, why, why is this not advisable to dispose hydrogen sulfide gas by panning? What you need to understand is that hydrogen sulfide burns in air with the formation of a harmful gas, and this harmful gas is a sulfur oxide, which in this case forms an acid rain. So it is because of that you cannot be disposed using the panning because it normally forms a harmful sulfur oxide gas, which forms an acid and the acid rain. Stage one use of hydrogen sulfide. So one use of hydrogen sulfide is just the same that the hydrogen sulfide is normally used in a, a preparation of a metallic sulfides. Alongside here, I have another diagram uh, which is ready to test the reaction between hydrogen sulfide and sulfur oxide. So you are required to state the observation made in this chart. In this chart, normally what do you observe? You can normally observe a yellow deposit. A yellow deposit is whereby the hydrogen sulfide react with sulfur oxide and then we talk about a yellow deposit of a yellow deposit of sulfur. And of course the color is a liquid of blood. So normally the main observation you can see in this gas chart. In this chart it is just normally a yellow solid or you can see uh, this liquid there. Now uh, right now the question for the reaction of course you must have a well balanced equation with the correct uh, state symbols. What is the role of the sulfur oxide in this, uh, in this reaction? So if you will be asked to give the role of sulfur oxide in this reaction, we just say that the role of sulfur oxide in this reaction is normally acting as a reducing agent. These are very good summary, and these are some of the expected questions we are expecting in the KCSE paper 2. You kindly follow my channel, click the notification bell, such that you get notified once I upload a new video. Thank you for watching.